wouldn't expect these girls from the Hawa school in the northern Afghan city of Puli Humri to have much to sing about. Four months ago, a devastating suicide attack killed over 80 people, including 52 of their fellow students and five teachers. Today is the first day of the new school year. And despite fears of another such attack, these young girls cannot wait to get back into the classroom. Catherine Benge, UNICEF representative for Afghanistan, travelled up over the mountains to Puli Humri to show UNICEF's support for the children of this province and to celebrate the beginning of the new school year. We are here today to celebrate your courage as parents because today you said yes again to the education because today you said we want to leave a legacy which is no more a legacy of poverty to our children. We don't want to transmit again the entire generation transmission of poverty. We want our children to go to school because this is the only vaccine we know against poverty. Every day, 6,400 girls are taught in this school. Due to the lack of classrooms and qualified teachers, lessons take place over three ships, with some being held in tents or under trees. UNICEF is working alongside the Ministry of Education to provide new textbooks as well as supplying stationery which the Howard School desperately needs. The lack of qualified teachers is one of the major reasons that most girls here only attend school to the end of Class 6. UNICEF is training 186 teachers across the province in an effort to solve this problem. 14-year-old Mazahal, who wants to be a doctor after she finishes school, is one of the lucky ones. She's about to start Year 9. I love to study, and my family supports me, which I think is very important. Also, I want to move on. Year 9 isn't enough for me. I want to study a lot. This is Ash Sweeting in Puli Humri, reporting for UNICEF Television.